After the Zappanala, I decided to stay in the area, Rostock, and have a look around. I was invited from a very sweet family, who I'm going to call the Z family, as in Z for Zappa. I want to protect their identity. This used to be former East Germany, and the people from there are rather shy and private, so, you know, I don't want to go blurting their name out. They showed me around Rostock on the area, and it was so fucking sweet. When I was driving down the road in Rostock, and I looked to the left, I could have sworn it was the West Side Highway in Manhattan. Really bizarre. But then you look at the ships and everything, and it looks like it could be Newport, Rhode Island. So beautiful. You know, they got everything they need in this area. It's so relaxing. And it's much friendlier than Berlin, by the way. The people were so sweet. One thing, though, I didn't see one black person. I thought that was kind of weird. The whole Zappanala festival and the whole area, I didn't see one black person. I mean... I'm just saying. I didn't see any black people. <laughs> this is the the garden of the house that I stayed at. The Z family. They are like, you know, old hippies there hanging out. I have um, tonsillitis, so my tonsils got to get ripped out. So I decided staying behind and relaxing could have done me some good. I mean, they have like a meditation house. I got a whirlpool, which I didn't use. I got a trampoline there in the back, which I did use, and I can't find the video footage from it. Pretty pissed off about that. Sometimes I delete stuff off my camera. Like, ah! Anyways, this is what I consider paradise. It's just a beautiful house in the country, nice fresh air. You know, before the wall went down in 89, this was the east, and... They had to smuggle their rock and roll over the border because Mr. Z is the biggest Frank Zappa fan in the world. Hands down. I mean, he's got like 20 different copies of Burnt Weenie Sandwich, okay, from different countries and different issues and blah, blah, blah. Like, I've never heard of anyone or seen anyone, met anyone who's that into Frank. It's unbelievable. I mean, Gail Zappa should write him a letter and say thank you so much for buying all of our fucking music instead of being mean to him. But whatever. That's a long story. And I'd love to tell it to you, but I can't. <laughs> Anyways. They have four horses in the backyard. Well, if you want to call that a yard. All that is their yard. They're so cute. This one has like a mohawk. Blonde with black down the middle. He was so sweet. Mmm. It was really gorgeous, and I'm hoping I'll return. The funny thing, though, the first day that I decided to stay behind instead of going back to Berlin, I went with them to the beach. And, you know, you have to walk down these wooden stairs to get to the, the beach. I walked down the stairs, and I was really shocked when I put my first foot on the beach because I noticed that nobody was wearing any fucking clothes. Like, nobody. There was no no hiding there like everyone's naked and I'm like um sorry I'm from New England and we don't do that stuff I don't know I'm just a prude American I am shy Can you, it's hard to believe isn't it I'm shy I can't just go you know showing my tits around and my bearded clam on a beach people I don't know it's just weird and plus there was people doing sit-ups and stuff like there was this sexy younger couple doing these really erotic sit-ups together they were like uh, uh, uh. I was like what the it was weird, okay? I learned a lot. I mean, I've seen naked beaches before, but this was really, really naked. Like, you know, no clothes. I thought this area reminded me of Ellington, Connecticut, where I spent the first five years of my life. It's so beautiful. We were on our way to see Mr. Z's birth city or town where he was actually born. And spent the day... An evening there. It was so nice of them to spend so much time and show me around. I never seen this part of Germany and I learned a lot about the people from there. Look how pretty it is.
That's actually Mr. Z right there. <laughs> yeah. It's called Kulungsborn. Kulungsborn. And there's their dogs. And this is Mr. Z's Zappa room. He... I just... It's ridiculous. I mean, he even has every album, solo album, of everybody that's played with Frank. Like every Chad Wackerman album, every Napoleon Murphy Brock album, every Don Preston album. You get my drift, right? Like, this guy is so dedicated, it's insane. He really, really loves Frank. I, would, I wish someday he could meet my dad and they could have a beer together, you know, and they could talk some Frank. That would be nice. Well, there he is. That's Mr. Z and his collection. What a sweetheart. 